because most people do not realize that they do not know. Um, there's always been a debate about these two terms, religion and then spirituality. Uh, there are people who feel like, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, and I'm not quite sure they know the meaning of that. Uh, but they use it because sometimes terms are just thrown around. To those people who are at the crossroad between religion and spirituality, what is your answer to that dilemma? <clears throat> so we must understand this. It is in the very nature of human intelligence that if you do not know something, if you realize you do not know something, because most people do not realize that they do not know, <laughs> if you realize that you do not know, it's very natural for your intelligence to seek to know. It doesn't need a guru, it doesn't need a scripture, it doesn't need somebody to introduce that to you. It is in the nature of your intelligence that you wish to know. There are lots of experiments to show even mice, if you leave them in a place, within two minutes they will research everything <laughs> in that space for their own reasons, of course, for survival reasons. They, you know, inquire into everything around them to find out how the place is. Human intelligence goes beyond survival. So naturally human intelligence seeks to know many more things which does not concern our survival. Yes, we are concerned about survival till a point, but once that's taken care of, we cannot rest. We want to know more, endlessly more. The more we realize we do not know, the more the longing to know. So this longing to know, when it finds a very intense expression in the form of seeking, we call this spiritual process. Or in other words, the basis of spirituality is a realization that I do not know. But the moment you say, I'm religious, you refer to yourself as a believer. When you say you're a believer, what you're saying is, everything that I do not know, I will make it up. How I make it up? Whose help I seek to make it up? Maybe varying from the person to person, somebody makes it up because of… with spiritual assist… with scriptural assistance, somebody makes it up with the assistance of a priest or a pandit or a guru or whatever. But you seek some authority. You kind of make a compromise in your life that instead of truth, you settle for an authority as the truth. Spiritual process means truth is the only authority for you. Authority is never the truth for you. So these are two different aspects unfortunately spoken in the same breath most of the time. So I would say spiritual process is far closer to scientific inquiry. See, even the fly is trying to investigate me. <laughs> I… trust me, I'm not investigating, I mean, I'm just inquiring. No, no, I did and not… I wish I was the size of that fly. I did not anyway. uh, use the word investigation in a negative way, nothing wrong yeah. with investigation. Yes, totally. Investigation means you want to know the truth. Right. Maybe it's done a little forcefully like a fly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to you now. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I get these days <laughs> So, spiritual process does not demand belief because belief and spiritual process cannot go together. Spiritual process is a constant inquiry. To, it is a way of sharpening your questions so that they dig deeper and deeper, not into something else but into yourself, the nature of your existence. Because the nature of human existence is such that in our experience, the only thing that you can experience is yourself. You actually believe you're experiencing many things, but you only know everything the way it happens within you. You do not know any other way. Even now if you see these people, it looks like they are there, but actually you know them or you see them only the way they projected in the firmament of our minds. There is no other way. There is no other way for you to experience this life except the way it happens within you. 
Now spiritual process is a constant effort to see that the way that it happens within me is not a distorted vision, that my mir mirror is not a wonky mirror, it is a plain mirror, that it shows me things the way they… way things are, it doesn't distort anything because of my thought, because of my emotion, because of my attachments, because of my identities, because of the philosophies and ideologies that I identify with, I can distort my mirror. Now I deprive myself of all that so that I have a plain mirror and I get to see everything just the way it is. This is spiritual process.